The feast of Corpus Christi is a celebration of the real presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. On April 28, 2001, there was a Eucharistic adoration at St. Mary's Parish Church at Cheritokonam, India. During the adoration, the priest noticed three stains of blood on the host. The priest did not know what to do and placed the host back into the tabernacle. A few days later, he retrieved the host to examine it again. The red stains had arranged themselves to look like the face of a man. They could see the face of Jesus in the blood stains. The priest immediately found a photographer and had the pictures taken. Later the host was placed for veneration in a monstrance. During the adoration the face of Jesus became more and more clear. The monstrance containing the miraculous host is to this day preserved in this church. Archbishop Cyril Mar Basilius, the Archbishop of Trivandrum, wrote about this miracle like this. For us believers, what we have seen is something that we have always believed. If our Lord is speaking to us through a sign, it certainly needs a response from us. Today we celebrate the feast of Corpus Christi, the feast of the body and blood of Jesus. It is the feast of the real presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. St. Augustine said of the Eucharist, No one eats this flesh unless he first adores it. So we adore and worship Jesus Christ in the Eucharist. In the Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 9, verse 11 onwards, we have the narration of Jesus feeding the 5,000. After having them seated, Jesus took the five loaves and two fish, said the blessing over them, and gave them to the disciples to set before the crowd. In verse 17 we read, They all ate and were satisfied, and when the leftover fragments were picked up, they filled twelve wicker baskets full. In Greek, the fragments or leftover bread and fish is an expression used in the early church to refer to the Eucharistic species. The fragments are gathered and available in the twelve baskets. They do not perish. It is the same with the Eucharist. The leftover host from Holy Communion are placed in the tabernacle. That is the real presence of Jesus, who is the bread of life, who gives himself as food. He is present to us always. St. John Mary Vianney said, Bring your problems to the Lord in the church before the tabernacle. He threw himself at the foot of the tabernacle like a dog at the foot of his master. The Eucharist challenges us also to be holy. As St. John Chrysostom said, God freed us from all our sins and has invited us to the Eucharist. Let us become more holy that we can also be more merciful. And finally, as Pope Benedict XVI writes in his encyclical Deus Caritas Est, that a Eucharist which does not pass over into the concrete practice of love is intrinsically fragmented. You can't see electricity and you can't touch electricity. a bit like the spirit and yet i can talk about an electric light or an electric toaster or an electric car we can touch the electric bulb but we cannot touch electricity saint paul in his letter to the corinthians chapter 15 speaks about a spiritual body it means a physical body that has a spirit flowing through it that is the spiritual body when the bible talks about spiritual food it means physical food There is a spirit flowing through it. Therefore, the Eucharist is the food for our souls and food for our bodies. That is by St. Ignatius of Antioch. He describes the bread of communion as the medicine of immortality, the antidote against death. For as Jesus puts it, this is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. Together with St. Augustine, let us recognize in this bread what hung on the cross and in this chalice what flowed from his side. Jesus promises us, I am with you always to the end of time. 
there is acknowledge the real presence of Jesus in the Eucharist adore him and become life giving members of the body of Christ through our acts of mercy let us proclaim o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine